Hi everyone. Thank you for giving me the opportunity of showing you my course that's been recently nominated. I wanted to go through to show you how I set up the course and show the ease of navigation and how it's more student friendly uh, and the reduce of confusion that I've seen with a lot of a uh, lot less questions that I've had. So if you see the left side, I've divided things up. You have the announcement tab. I'll show you an example. I'll go quickly through some of these things as you'll be able to see it. And what you'll see on the announcement is I give a little overview of what we're doing this week. I try to apply a video that's related to the economy. I think that's very important. So I do this every week, the start off the week, these separate videos and what to expect. Okay. Getting started tab here. I like to put an information about me. I do a little Prezi uh, presentation and I narrate the Prezi presentation and people have really said they've enjoyed that a lot. Uh, here's the syllabus. Here's the breakdown of the course schedule. And this course schedule has done a very good job of showing exactly clearly what to do and when things are due as well. So that's been very effective uh, information. Now, if you click on the content area, this is where the modules are at. And I'll give you an example of how I broke up the module. So if I look at the introduction video, what I've done is in the introduction video, I show them an overview of the week, give them a little information, I like to throw in a picture there. I have broken this down into PowerPoints, teaching summaries, ancillary materials, and instructor led lectures. PowerPoints are just basic. It's not me narrating the PowerPoints because I do that somewhere else. Instructor teachers teaching summaries is for each section I've uh, uh, focused on various aspects of the chapter that I think is important. So that has been very helpful for students to navigate and use while they're reading the chapter. Then I have the module one ancillary materials. And if I click on this, you'll notice it, it opens better in student view. But if, if what happens here is I think I've done a great job of a topic, finding an article, here's the link and giving a analysis or commentary on why that link's important. I think that's a very important aspect to this because a lot of instructors just post a lot of links. I have both videos and articles and I provide commentary to know why they need to be reviewing this. And I have it on various different things. A lot of topics I have it on for the week and this has been very helpful I have found. Okay. Then I have instructor led videos. So here's the videos for the chapters that I've narrated. So you'll notice that just like I'm doing right now with you guys, I do it for the PowerPoints and I can, I can measure how many students are watching it, how long they're watching it as well. I also have, if we keep going on the left side of the tab, I have the course calendar, course messages, that's my email. So I've kind of broken it up with this large subheader and I found that it'd be very helpful uh, to know what we're looking at. The graded work, we have discussion and quizzes. Uh, in the discussion, I've done a great job of providing the rubric multiple times. So see, here's discussion number one. Here's the rubric. So you see, here's what I'm looking for. Here's the rubric. And here is an APA formatting or APA formatted citation generator, which has really solved a lot of issues for me because students now put a citation reference and easily uh, put that in there and they don't lose points. Another thing I do at the discussion board that I think is important, when a student clicks on the discussion board, they can only press reply. That is, I think that's key because it's not going to be this thread with, given how many students I have, this thread that just goes on forever. It's not going to be all these starter, uh, starter th uh, threads. It's just going to be one post and they reply to that post. And I also have it broken down into, here's the quizzes. You notice again with the instructions and after the quizzes, I put the student tabs, the grades, resources and things like that. So I hope this gives you a good review of what, uh, how I set up my course. I found a lot of positive comments on the setup of my course and a lot of things I could improve on that I'm still looking to do as well. But I think this gives you a good basis.